July 4th marks the 50th anniversary of Colombia's second largest rebel group, the National Liberation Army. To commemorate the occasion, the guerrilla group has declared three days of armed strikes beginning on Thursday. For more details, our correspondent Michelle Bege is joining us live from Bogota. Yes, Mike, the National Liberation Army's decision to announce these military attacks comes just one month after the Colombian government also announced that they are holding exploratory peace talks with the rebel group. From July 3rd to July 6th, the guerrilla group, the National Liberation Army, declared it would conduct armed strikes throughout five northeastern Colombian provinces. According to a press release, the ELN warned it would attack businesses, roads, and transportation services to mark the organization's founding 50 years ago and what its commander called barbarism of capitalism. Yeah, Former member Diego Carlos Arturo Diego Velandia, Velandia says Santander. there's another Santander. message behind the commemoration, a warning to the government. You believe we are very small, a small threat to the point that you barely consider us for the peace process, and you are mistaken. We are capable of paralyzing a region. The Colombian Ministry of Defense denounced the move, and officials from the Ombudsman office called for a ceasefire. We're calling for an end to the violation of the international humanitarian laws and human rights laws. We're also asking authorities to guarantee the peace in those five departments of Colombia. Even before the pledge to launch attacks by the Marxist-Leninist rebel group, the Colombian government was involved in exploratory peace talks. I don't think the government will cease the course because there was an armed strike or because small explosives were placed. Obviously, this is not desired by anyone, and I personally think that it doesn't contribute to the social climate for peace. It creates too much noise. It's important to note that during our interview with this former ELN uh, guerrilla member, he did insist and point out that the government is the one who's been setting the rules in a way uh, in these peace negotiations with the guerrilla. They've always insisted that while negotiations are going on, business as usual continues in the country and that the offensive by the armed forces will continue against the guerrilla groups. So in a way, uh, these guerrilla groups can also say on their end uh, that they will continue to fight and negotiate at the same time. Back to you, Mike. So, Michelle, there's basically been this warning, but have we seen any evidence that there's been any attacks by the ELN at this stage? Well, uh, police officials today announced that there have been some problems of communication and transportation in two of the provinces, Arauca and Catatumbo, uh, where the ELN said they were going to have this armed strike, but nothing uh, other than these uh, uh, issues. However, uh, we need to note that the Ministry of Defense did announce that they were going to uh, send more forces uh, to these areas to make sure that security is tight during this armed strike. Michelle Begay, live for us in Bogota. Thank you.